Hi everyone, it's me Jenny from your Health Matter channel and in our today's video, we will share about postpartum depression which is the most common complication of childbirth yet postpartum depression is a condition clouded with stigma shame and guilt for mothers who experience it but before we start please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you will not miss our new videos to come This is part 1 of postpartum depression I'm doing on mother's mental health topics. Over the presentation, we're going to define postpartum depression. I will discuss signs, symptoms, risk factors, and causes of postpartum depression. And in another video, which is part 2, I will discuss how we treat postpartum depression. Well, my guess is everyone here is either a mom, has a mom, or knows a mom. Well, this lesson is for all of us. In our video presentation today, our objective is to help destigmatize and normalize this very common condition, postpartum depression, in new mothers, your friends, your wives, your sisters, or even yourselves, and to help viewers understand postpartum depression what postpartum depression really looks like. What is postpartum depression? Is it serious? Is it treatable? Postpartum depression is a perinatal mood disorder caused by physical changes in women. Hormones drastically shift and drop after we have babies, causing emotional consequences that are made even more severe when we are sleep deprived. And for your information, according to Postpartum Support International, postpartum depression is the most common complication of childbirth impacting approximately 15% of women. And yet, it is incredibly rare to hear anyone talk about it. While many women experience what is called the baby blues or a period of about a week after the baby is born where she is a bit depressed, postpartum depression is an entirely different story. Between 10 to 15 percent of women experience postpartum depression to some degree and while the condition is treatable, it's also very serious. Postpartum depression can be defined as the onset of serious mood changes anywhere from one month to one year after the baby is born. It is much more serious than baby blues and must be treated by a doctor with appropriate therapy and medication. What are the causes? Postpartum depression is believed to be caused by the radical shifting of hormones after childbirth. While some women only experience mild mood swings, others are thrown into the depths of depression. What are the signs and symptoms of postpartum depression? Postpartum depression can express itself in several different ways. While the symptoms are very much like those of regular depression, there are a few key differences. Here are common symptoms of postpartum depression. It includes Postpartum depression has a deeper level of sadness, hopelessness, or worthlessness, and trouble functioning and lasts much longer. The symptoms can last weeks to months. For some women, this can be start of a recurring illness that comes back in the future and lasts for months or years. The depression that can happen postpartum generally has the same symptoms as a depression that's not related to pregnancy. 
this would be symptoms like depressed mood, poor appetite, poor sleep, and this poor sleep would look like trouble sleeping when your baby is sleeping. You can also have irritability and suicidality. These symptoms can show up in the first 72 hours after you give birth, so it can come on pass. Postpartum psychosis is even more taboo. It's that lovely little illness that causes those delusions and paranoia that some moms suffered, and it only occurs in every one out of every thousand's birth. In the most tragic and rare cases, those dark visions become actions, and the mother can hurt or kill themselves or their children. They started feeling like something was off just a few days after giving birth. First, became incredibly anxious and paranoid, unable to think straight. To all mothers out there, postpartum depression is not your fault, but your symptoms are real. Another video, which is part 2 of this presentation on women's mental health, will release very soon. Who is likely candidate for postpartum depression? How we treat postpartum depression? And what your partner, husband can do? How you can go back to your normal life? That's what I'm gonna talk about the next video. So check out the next video. See you next time. Thank you for watching. And please remember that all of the information on this channel is for educational purposes and not intended to be for specific or personal medical advice from me to you.